Hello guys, just wanted to uh, give you an update uh, on some things that I have going on here on the homestead. And um, for those of you all who uh, have been following me, you know that I harvested uh, some sweet potatoes um, that I had planted in the ground about a week ago. And they have been sitting here on my patio table curing. And they are just about ready to uh, go inside. Um, into my pantry where they'll be stored for the next uh, several months. Uh, but I also uh, took some clippings from the sweet potato vines and I wanted to root them in water. And right over here, guys, I just want to share with you that within a week's time, uh, there is uh, some roots already. So I'm hoping to um, plant these in some containers and bring them inside of the greenhouse over winter and I may get sweet potatoes and from those uh, that are growing in containers I'll be able to make more slips so that I don't have to purchase slips or try to um, develop uh, sweet potato slips from using a potato and putting it in water or in soil. I think this will be a much quicker way uh, in order for me to uh, get roots and be able to plant sweet potatoes next year. Um, but while I have you guys' attention, I just want to take you with me out here um, because right after my son helped me to dig up all of the sweet potatoes, um, I went on and planted uh, some more things in the garden and I would like to show you how they're doing as well. I purchased uh, some collard green transplants and some uh, cabbage transplants from Lowe's and um, I also sowed seeds for turnips and also seeds for mustard greens and guys as you can see the mustard greens have come up really well as you can see here and also the collards seem to have grown a little and look like they're still being eaten by, by something, so I'll have to take care of that. Uh, but as you can see, the mustard green seeds germinated beautifully. And then over here, I see a slow growth of the turnips, but nonetheless, they are also coming up as you can see here. And I try to not uh, plant them so thick when I planted these, so that could be what's going on as well. Uh, but just wanted to come on guys and give you a little update on this area of my garden. Um, these are the vegetables that I plan to share uh, with some friends of mine and hopefully uh, I'll be able to harvest some greens, uh, at least some greens, if not the cabbage. Um, by Thanksgiving and also for Christmas um, here in my growing zone 7A Tennessee. Okay guys, I'm not going to make this a long video. Um, also, um, I have some sweet potatoes in containers that I need to harvest and um, they are forecasting that the temperatures are going to drop into the upper 40s during the evenings, I think coming this weekend. So I may come out tomorrow and just go on and harvest them. May just come out tomorrow and go on and harvest them um, and uh, just be done with it for the season. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. This is Angela with Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. God bless. Bye-bye.